my Juicy Co-Creators, Lilu here on the beautiful island of Maui today in Hawaii with Steven. Hello. Hello, Lilu. So wonderful to hang with you on Kanapali Beach. This is one of the most beautiful beach here, no doubt, huh? No doubt. <laughs> and we're here waiting for the sunset and having this conversation. I was, I wanted to meet Steven because Steven is called the Oprah of Hawa of Maui and he has this TV show called Life on Maui so that was really exciting when I saw that I'm like I gotta meet him I gotta meet him <laughs> I gotta, I'm gonna feel that juice I want to see it <laughs> <laughs> well I'm glad you feel the juice because I'm feeling the juice <laughs> I the juice is rubbing off on me plus what an incredible thing to have the this be our studio today you know we're sitting here this got about an hour before sunset there's Hawaiian music playing over here. It's, it couldn't be a more beautiful day. It's juicy. It's way juicy. So you have this really juicy life because you interview those amazing people. Yep. Here on Maui, the celebrities, the authors, the, the people that inspire you. Yeah. How did all this started? But before getting into the show portion, tell us how did you, why Maui? I've always loved warm weather year round and ocean and mountains meeting and I've really traveled all around the world looking for this but I didn't know this existed I mean Australia New Zealand west coast of the United States the Caribbean and there was always Central America there was always something that wasn't quite right Maui for me is perfect it's perfect. It has everything I want. It has the incredible climate, has the incredible community of people. You know, really people with big open hearts and wanting to connect. And, and there's a lot of culture here. There's, uh, all, you know, all the music, all the movies, all the dancing, all of the nightlife. In small portion, I mean, it's not New York City. But it's got everything that I need to keep me stimulated and it has everything I need to keep me relaxed. Yeah, but, but, but more than anything, yeah. really, you're, you're really in love with this island. It's way beyond, it's way beyond counting things that really are here, isn't it? Because you truly are deeply in love, not just love the place, in love. Like I feel in love with Kauai, I could totally relate, but it's interesting how some people fall in love with different islands. It's exactly correct. I'm glad you actually took it that next step. I've never experienced this before. I'm in love with Maui. I mean, it's a, it's a love affair. It's an absolute love affair where every single day it's thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and uh, just a tremendous experience and I'm, I'm totally in love, totally in love. So, so then, were you already doing and interviewing people before coming to Maui or all this started to unfold as you moved here? All this unfolded when I moved here. I recreated myself on Maui. Um, I studied radio, television and film at Temple, Temple University in Philadelphia. But then life took over. I had a unex unexpectedly an incredible child, Dave, who lives in LA and in the film business um, and just life took its own way of unfolding and I wound up being a hypnotherapist um, opening a small chain of video rental stores when that was hot um, I was a massage therapist and when I came to Maui it was like how can I recreate myself here and I've always loved the medium of television I've loved since I've been a little boy, you know, I run home to watch Merv Griffin after school, stay up late to watch Johnny Carson at night, you know, Letterman, John Stewart, you know, on and on and on, you know, Saturday Night Live. I love this medium that we're involved in here. I, I just, I love it. And so when somebody said that that's a possibility for me to do here on Maui, I just jumped on it. And I started creating and producing my own show, Life on Maui with Stephen Freed. How cool. This is really satisfying. I, that's, that's to me what is a juicy life. You're really living at the core and, and being the creator, at the co-creator of this magic. Did you feel like it came to you? Because often people say that 
it's it's quite magical and surreal when it's truly aligned with our sole purpose and mission there is some extraordinary things that are just coming in the picture and then it makes perfect sense there's less struggle oh there's everything about this is graceful you know not of course there's always some effort but this is uh, this whole experience has been very graceful doing this show all the next I'm sure like you know for your show the next person it's always ready the who's ever next it's like who's next who's next and then the next person shows up and the next person and the next person you know in all the wonderful fields you know if you go to lifeonmaui.com the website you'll see you know all the different categories you know arts and entertainment and science and you know, personal growth. I love to mix it up. I love to have that perspective of the heart from all of those angles. A scientist coming from his heart. You know, arts and entertainment from the heart. You know, that's what I go for. I go for the heart. That's why somebody very generously called me the Oprah of Maui. <laughs> do you think that's why? That's what made Oprah really successful? I do. I really do. I feel like that's what made her successful is that she is a heartful person. And, uh, well, she's also a very driven person. Uh, I think she has a lot of drive. Like in the little time you and I have talked, I can see you have a lot of drive. That's a wonderful thing. And, and um, I think Oprah is very driven. And uh, But I think the main thing is, is that she's got a lot of heart. And she draws that out in people and brings that out to the world and in my way that's what I want to be doing as well mm. same thing uh, along on my trip on the Juicy Living Tour I've seen some men that are called the, 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 the next Oprah and I find that interesting that now some man feels it's, it's within a man that this is gonna happen do you feel this way? Wow I never knew that by the way I never knew that anybody else said that you know, so that gives me a bigger perspective that I'm not the only uh, man who is uh, not aspiring. I don't think I'm aspiring to be the next Oprah, even though that would be wonderful. I would love to be able to step into that role. But, um, yeah, I think the gender stuff is blurring in a, in a lot of ways. You know, I feel... Um, in every In every way, in every, you know, whether it be a spiritual master or whether it's in the corporate world, or whether it's in, in, in the media. It's like you were saying to me earlier, you feel like you have man, male and female in you. I feel the same way. I feel like, I don't feel like there's a, a preference. I love the male and the female inside of me. I'm more of a man, but I, I love both aspects. So what comes very often in your interviews as you're speaking with those people? Is there some lessons? Is there some things that truly resonated or some people? What's, what's, what are you left with after how many years of interviewing people? Coming up on six years now. Um, what I'm really left with has to do with um, what I would call inspiration or aspiration. <laughs> the sun setting right here. I'm looking at it. Um, inspiration or aspiration how um, like in the case of the man who produced the peaceful warrior I loved the series the peaceful warrior and Dan Millman wrote the books but a man named David Welsh was a producer of the movie he was at the Maui Film Festival several years ago and he told this incredible story of how many years it took him to manifest that vision and the perseverance and the single-mindedness and the vision he knew within him that this was for him to do, but it took years to unfold. And in the meantime, he worked, you know, he worked with Hal Ashby on being there and with Jane Fonda and, you know, many things. But for him to produce this movie took many years. And for some people, it takes longer than others to manifest. And I think for him, it took a long time. And I'm, I'm inspired by all of the different things that people manifest large and small in life so that's what that's what inspires me people's aspirations and inspirations and being true to their vision and true to their heart 
What what did you find is the main obstacle or within your for your in your own life or in the lives of people that you've interviewed? Like this tipping point or this opening or the challenge? I I think the ch I think really the challenge is the same for everyone. I think it's self-doubt. I, I don't think that there's anything mysterious. I think it's just it's self-doubt and uh thinking you can't. And I think that um You know, we have tremendous potential in this life and, you know, just it's wonderful to keep unfolding that potential. Yeah. And then, you know, that's, that's what I feel like I'm doing and being in love on Maui and doing what I love on Maui and having an incredible community of friends on Maui. Oh, my God. What a life. Every what a life. This is juicy. What a life. This is juicy. This is way, way juicy what we're doing here. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this. We're sitting on the beach. On the It's most, ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We're sitting on one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. I mean, Maui, uh, <laughs> Condé Nast Traveler, constantly rates Maui the most beautiful island. And, you know, I feel it is. And it's incredible. We're on this beach doing an interview that's going to go out to all over the world. People everywhere are going to see this, and we get to like hang out together on the beach in the warmth of the setting sun, water here, Hawaiian music playing over here, doing this interview. What a life! Yes. What an amazing life. If you have one message for people that's like, yeah, this is great, but I'm not on Maui, I'm in the city, I have a bill to pay, I have this, and this is really, you guys are living it, I'm not, and they feel totally separated from this, what would you tell them? Oh God, life, life is not according to our timing. I've had this vision since I've been 20 years old, you know, and I'm 58. So, I mean, I've had the vision of this since I've been, well, maybe even 18 or 19 years old, but it took this long to manifest this. So I think wherever we are in life, you know, when I was living in Philadelphia and doing what I was doing there, raising a family, having the businesses, I felt like, no, this is where I'm meant to be now. So I don't think that there is, I don't think that there's better and worse in that way, because I think that life really is, comes from inside. So, you know, ostensibly somebody could be living on Maui and be miserable. Yes. You know, and somebody could be living in the heart of... And that exists. I know it's hard to uh, know this if you haven't visited Hawaii, but there's tremendous drug problems, yeah. poverty problems here. There is some things huh, that we that still need to be talked about because this is, you're seeing the good side right now. There's truly some, or people that have overcome these challenges, yeah. but there's truly big, big challenges here on Hawaii. Huh? Absolutely. No, every, everything that you just said. It could be a nightmare for some people. Oh, Life can be very expensive here and uh, you have to find a way. <laughs> absolutely. No, they're, they're, they're one after the other, you know, people have to leave and I just feel very blessed. I get to be here, you know, and I never take it for granted. I never feel like this is, I mean, I want to be here for forever because I love it, but I don't know. Yeah. You know what do I know? You know, I don't know. Uh, so juicy. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for this moment. Oh my God! Thank you for this moment. How how wonderful this is! I keep taking my glasses on and off because the sun is in my eyes. But yeah, thank you. This yeah. is this is wonderful. Voila! Sitting here with this beautiful French woman. <laughs> This beautiful French woman, my goodness. <laughs> well, we're sending you being, we're sending you much, much love from this beautiful island of Hawaii. Absolutely. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha from this beautiful island of Maui. Thank you so much for this time. Man oh man, this is juicy. Aloha.